What's up everyone, this is FP Sticks bringing you some Go Battle League battles here in the Great League. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing a team that has carried me through to the 3400s in, in rating. This has allowed me to have a pretty decent place on the leaderboard and it's a pretty meta team, but it is featuring a, a core of Metacham and Diggersby, which really, in my opinion, seems to be one of the, the best like new cores in Great League. There's been a lot of other teams um, showcased with this core of, of Metacham and Diggersby, uh, such as like Medi, Diggersby, G Fisk. Um, you could also put like a Registeel in there in, in place of Wall Rain, but Diggersby covers um, all of Metacham's ghost type uh, weaknesses, and as well uh, also having play against um, common things like Lickitung. It has play against uh, Alola Ninetales, and obviously still being able to beat all of the, the steel types. Diggersby is very, very bulky. And and is such a solid core breaker in this meta. I'm opting to run Wall Rain as the safe swap in this team, um, but again, there's other Pokemon that you can put in that spot there. Uh, and if you don't have an XL Metacham, uh, you could potentially run Defense Deoxys as well. So as always, I am pushing for 50,000 subscribers. So if you've been enjoying the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But let's jump into these battles. These were some really tough games against really great opponents um, and very, very highly rated on the leaderboard. So uh, gonna be tough um, to come out of some of these tough scenarios here. So my Metacham into Sableye is obviously a really hard counter. Um, so I swap into Wall Rain. Diggers B is obviously going to be the hard counter against their Sableye. And because they allowed me to get uh, that Earthquake off and they no shielded it, I'm going to try to fight for swap or at least try to get shields down here. So even though that they survive this Icicle Spear and they can just no shield, um, I know that I can Powder Snow down and flip switch advantage in my favor here. Even though I'm gonna be double debuffed, this guarantees that uh, Metacham is not gonna have to deal with Sableye. Now out comes the Sableye once again, and I'm gonna throw an Earthquake here, and then I'm gonna pivot out into my Diggersby. I anticipated that there would be uh, a Nidoqueen in the back, or I was hoping that um, Diggersby might have play against what's in the back as well, because there have been a lot of teams that I've encountered that are double or even triple weak to Diggersby, and, and this team uh, being one of them right there. My opponent goes for a Poison Fang, knowing that one Earth Power will not uh, knock me out. But Diggers B, gonna be able to get to the Earthquake here. It is so tempting to bait in this matchup, but they easily survive a Fire Punch. So if the bait fails, uh, it's really, really unfortunate. I go for the Fire Punch right there because at this point, all I need to do is get enough chip damage to where Metacham can even counter it down. I still have my Wall Rain, but I dumped a lot of the energy onto the Sableye. Out comes the Sableye once again. I'm gonna be able to get to this Icicle Spear. They go for foul play, and unfortunately it was not a CMP tie, so they're able to sneak in another uh, Shadow Claw there. I do land the Icicle Spear. We're able to farm down. The Nino Queen's gonna get more farm. I'm not able to get to a move, but all I need is one counter to sneak through, and there's no way this Nino Queen is gonna one-shot my full health meta champ. So hard countered pretty much in the lead and the swap there, but Diggers be really proving to be solid in the back there. Okay, this game is absolutely wild, and I will explain why I play the way that I play in this game. This person, I've battled them before, their team is absolutely crazy uh, to me. They're running Scrafty, Metacham, Bastiodon. It's a very wild and obscure team, really unpredictable. So the only reason that I am swapping a Wall Rain onto a Metacham is because I know that they have Bastiodon in the back. So my Wall Rain is essentially um, dead weight at this point. I'm just using it to chip away at this Metacham. But I'm fully committed uh, to the strategy of just allowing my Metacham and Diggersby to take out the rest of their team. You see me bring Diggersby in here onto a loaded Metacham, again, because I'm committing to my Metacham being the win condition here. I'm just gonna throw Fire Punch. I just want to get them into a range where uh, I can just counter down everything. They're super boosted here, and every time I play this person, all they ever do is throw Power Up Punch the entire time as well. All they do is pup on their Scrafty, they pup on their Metacham, and so out comes a Bastidon, and I have a double shielded Metacham. I'm gonna farm this thing all the way down. 
And I know that Flamethrower is not going to be nearly as threatening as like a Psychic or a Foul Play from the Scrafty. So down goes the Bastidon. Whatever comes in, I'm just going to hit it with an Ice Punch. They end up bringing in the Scrafty once again, and we're looking pretty good. Again, the only, like, if I if I didn't know this person's team, uh, and they swap in a Metacham against this Metacham, you would kind of need to stay in and, and play that out a little bit. But because of the Scrafty lead, uh, and I recognized the, the person's name, I was able to kind of instantly develop a plan for how to handle this team. Because I tell you what, I've lost to this team before, and it, it feels kind of bad where you're like, oh my goodness, that team is like insanely weak to charm in the lead. It's uh, it's like double weak to a fighter in the lead. But they, they play it really well and they make it work because they're very highly rated. So uh, good game to that opponent there. Metacham into Lickitung. Okay, neutral lead. The problem here, um, the nice thing is, is that they swap right into Nidoqueen, but most people that lead uh, Lickitung are going to have some uh, anti-fighters in the back, and sometimes that's Metacham or Defense Deoxys. Now, I went into Wall Rain here, and the second that I did this, I was like, oh man, this might be a mistake, because if they fight for switch advantage, uh, they can win this in the two shield because it's a Shadow Nidoqueen. But thank goodness they let that go through, and I'll be able to get some chip damage off on this Lickitung as well. I'm at two Icicle Spears, so I'm just gonna throw both of these and get some nice chip damage. If they say swap a poison type like that, typically uh, you should go into Digger's B, but um, I uh, panic clicked and reacted not how I wanted to. Gonna bring out Metacham, and in the back is a Kafagrigus. In hindsight, uh, this actually was the correct choice for me, um, bringing in Wall Rain into the Nido Queen. But if my opponent would have double shielded that secondary matchup, it would have been game over because um, my Metacham would have been stuck against that Kafagrigus. So Wall Rain is neutral against this Kafagrigus as well. But that would have been really, really scary. In general, anytime they say swap a Sableye or a Poison type user, uh, Diggers B is going to be the response there. So just going straight for the Earthquake once again, um, I'm, I really should develop some more courage and try to go for more baits in these scenarios. But every time the bait fails, um, you're just giving your opponent like a potential win condition. So I just went for the consistent damage there. I'm able to get to the Psychic. I'm gonna get hit uh, by a move here, but I do have a shield, so I will spend it here. Ends up being the Shadow Ball. Out comes that Lickitung. I know they have a lot of loaded energy. So I'm hoping that Ice Punch will be enough. There goes the Body Slam. I'm throwing this Ice Punch. I know it won't be enough, but potentially one more counter will knock out this Lickitung. And there it goes. And we're going to be able to counter down Okafagrigus and take this game there. Good game. Metacham into... Okay, this is the craziest game I have played in a long, long time. This is a terrible lead. I swap into Wall Rain. This is a really good response. Scrafty leads the, uh, leaves this matchup. Um, boosted uh, end with energy. So I'm going to throw this Icicle Spear. And the big issue here is that I'm not going to be able to get a very big farm with my uh, Wall Rain or with my Metacham off of this Scrafty. Thank goodness they do actually go for the foul play there, because what ends up happening um, is they're not going to have enough energy to be able to foul play my Metacham here, so I'm able to stay fairly healthy. But my switch clock is not up, and they uh, very smartly come in immediately. I'm going to go straight for the Psychic here. It will hit for a decent chunk of damage against this Kafagrigus. And then swap immediately into my Digger's B. It is a Pidgeot in the back. This is like absolutely hard countered left and right uh, but I'm just gonna throw a straight fire punch here and I actually ended up getting a shield on that first move because my opponent thought that it might be a hyper beam now my only win con here is if they start feather dancing me and that's what they're doing so again I'm not gonna shield my opponent is providing me with win conditions here. I eventually need to get out of this matchup and preserve this Diggersby. So throw another Fire Punch to stall at the clock. 
And then they're gonna throw another move here. It's just gonna be another Feather Dance, gonna no shield. And then I need to swap into my Metacham, clear that debuff. Out comes the Kafa Grigus once again. I'm just going straight for Ice Punch. I'm trying to get any chip damage I can on this. But that Pidgeot is still very healthy. My Diggersby does have loaded energy. I have to shield this. I need to get this Kafa Grigus into a health range where I can handle it more easily. Have to commit both my shields here. But the Pidgeot did expend energy before it got out of there. I'm able to get to this Ice Punch. But I'm worried that they might be able to get to a move against my Diggers B. My only win condition here is mud shotting them down. Now the timing is very careful here. I throw one mud shot and then throw fire punch because I know that they're going to sneak a gust. And then I'm going to make the same play here. One mud shot and then fire punch. And that mud shot damage, those two mud shots worth of damage, plus these two fire punches is just enough to take out that Pidgeot. That is the craziest game I have played in a long, long time. Felt pretty good to beat that team there. Good game. Solid lead for me. Out comes Nino Queen, and I'm very quick to the response on Diggersby. This is a pretty solid alignment here. Now again, um, I, I tend to not like to bait here because this is already a dominant matchup for them. And if they end up wanting to commit two shields here to try to maintain switch advantage, they can have it. Down goes the Nido Queen, and they're going to want to get a big farm with their wall rain. That's totally fine. Just going straight for the heavy hitting move once again. Diggers B, even though you're receiving super effective damage here, is so bulky that they have to throw energy. And you see me not going for the fire punch there. I want to force them to expend energy with this icicle spear. In the back is an Azumarill. We're looking pretty good here. Now my wall rain, you can see the IVs up on the screen there. I don't have the powder snow attack breakpoint well, with this wall rain. So this matchup against um, XL Azumarill is kind of awkward. There's a case to be made, maybe I should be running uh, my other wall rain I built that has slightly higher attack and does reach a breakpoint here, because that would make this matchup a lot more comfortable. So I have to shield up the play rough, and then I'm gonna throw this earthquake here and see what they wanna do. I know they still have their wall rain, it's pretty healthy. They swap into their wall rain, I'm just gonna go straight for this earthquake here. They try to catch an Icicle Spear. Um, I get the final shield. All I need to do is reach a Psychic here. I'm gonna no shield this Icicle Spear. And then we do end up CMP tying here. I will shield this up because it could be the Earthquake. That's their win condition. And we call it correctly. The Psychic is gonna land, knock out the Wall Rain, and then we'll be able to take out that Azumarill in the back. And we were able to maintain positive alignment throughout that game. Metacham into Wall Rain is obviously very dominant. And then anytime you get your Diggers be aligned against a Poison type, it's really, really great. Buzzwool. Okay, this thing is very glassy. It has the same typing as Heracross, so it will be resisting uh, the fighting type damage there. They swap in uh, Hisuian Quillfish. And I'm very slow to the response here because I'm like, oh my goodness, I was not expecting this thing to pop out. I know it has Aqua Tail. This person is running uh, Poison Jab uh, as the fast move, so they're not generating uh, energy quite as fast. They sack the Quillfish. I'm wondering if it's like a double poison team, maybe Nidoqueen in the back. But the great thing about Diggersby with Fire Punch here is you're able to hit for super effective damage against these bug types here. That does almost half health to Buzzwool. And we're not able to get to another Fire Punch, unfortunately. I know that this thing has access to Lunge, which will hit Metacham for neutral damage. Does a decent chunk of damage there. And I was expecting them to swap out and try to catch my energy here. But they land another Lunge. And then I will throw this Ice Punch. And then we get Weird Desync and they're able to catch the Ice Punch on their Wall Rain. Great play. So I'm keeping track of their energy. I'm just going for the Psychic here, even though I'm debuffed. It does some uh, decent chip, and then I catch a Icicle Spear onto my own Wall Rain, so that's a really good waste of energy. They still have two shields, but their uh, Buzz Wool is very, very low. Very low in health, and same thing with this Wall Rain, where we correctly shield up the Earthquake, 
And at this point, I can pretty much just go straight Icicle Spear. I will build up to Earthquake Energy on these first two moves and just see what they want to do. I want Residual Energy for when that uh, Buzzwool comes back in. We'll be able to do some nice chip damage. Just going to throw another Icicle Spear immediately here and see what they want to do. And our Switch Clock is up. Out comes the Buzzwool, but we're going to be able to get to this Icicle Spear and take this game here. Good game. These were some really fun, exciting battles, uh, especially when you're this high of elo, it takes a long time to find a game. Uh, so then when you do have an exciting battle, it's always really great. Sableye in the lead, really, really bad. Um, and they're opting to stay in and chip before getting out of here. So um, there's a case to be made that I should throw Icicle Spear immediately there because now I'm down a shield and they bring out their own wall rain. Just gonna go for the earthquake here and they do let it go through. Now this is most likely going to be the Earthquake. So I think I end up shielding this just to make this secondary matchup a little bit more comfortable. I'm gonna go for another Earthquake here. I really should be brave and bait here. But no, it gets shielded. Very unfortunate for me. The other thing that I should have done differently in this game is just let this matchup play out. I'm going to go for this Earthquake. If they shield, whatever, they're going to farm me down because I need to hope that my Diggers B will have play in the back. So let's see what they end up having in the back. Obviously, this is a really terrible scenario for Metacham. I'm going to try to get to two Ice Punches here, um, which would be threatening to the Sableye, but they're keeping perfect track of my energy and they force the CMP tie here really nicely played. Now, I still have that wall rain with loaded energy to deal with. So this is a prime example where I should not have pivoted out of that secondary matchup. I'm going to bring in the Diggersby. Oh, I remember this game. Yep. I remember this game. They're going to go for foul play. I'm just hoping that I can farm them down here. I know I'm going to get hit by another move. The mud shot goes through. Their wall rain has so much energy. So if they bring in wall rain, I'm going to try to make a um, catch, but they bring in their G Fisk. They want to burn my energy here. I'm going to throw the earthquake. And then I stupidly click this fire punch right away. Um, there's no reason to throw this early. Rock slide would not have been threatening. And then I was hoping that they would instant throw but they smartly hold on to their energy. So this opponent played so well, but I totally had a win condition. If I just let my wall rain go down, Diggersby would sweep the back line. Um, but we made it close. Really nicely played. Tough game there. GG. Metachain into Deoxys. This is tough because my back line really does not want to see this. The nice thing is, is that Walrein and Diggersby can both hit for neutral damage against Deoxys and Diggersby won't take super effective damage from the charge moves, but I need to soften up this DD and start trying to burn shields. Now people that lead DD, there's always a good chance that there's a Walrein in the back, which would be really bad for my Diggersby if I'm aligned with that. There's also a chance that there could be a Registeel in the back, which I want to make sure that my Diggers B is able to see that matchup. Sometimes there's Charm Alola Ninetales as well. So we do shield up the Thunderbolt and we are playing this matchup out. Throw another Ice Punch. I do get a shield there. That's good for me. And then I try to make a catch on a Thunderbolt, but they simultaneously swap their Lickitung as I swap my Diggersby. So we will get to see this matchup play out, even though I'm down a shield. I'm just going straight Earthquake here. I know that they're gonna go straight Power Whip and be able to hit for super effective damage. The Licks are pretty much doing no damage to my Diggersby here. I'm gonna get to another Earthquake. We have a really unfortunate thing happen uh, in this game as well, which you will uh, see coming up here. Katie and I just went out of town um, on our like five year wedding anniversary. So I was staying in a hotel and playing on the hotel Wi-Fi, and you will see the negative effects right there. I was actually clicking the move, um, but the game did not register, which is really unfortunate. So they still have that Lickitung. Gonna throw this ice punch onto the DD and try to get rid of it. Down it goes. Shields are down. What is in the back though? 
what is in the back. It's their own wall rain. So I'm going to try to make a catch once again. They hold on to their energy. Really unfortunate. But hopefully they're in a health range where one earthquake will knock them out. They farm up a lot. They lay in the earthquake. And they see MP timey right here to get more chip damage. Nice play. This earthquake will definitely knock out based on how much damage their earthquake did to my wall rain. Down it goes. Uh, out comes the Lickitung once again. They have to throw their energy here, and then all I need to do is get to a Psychic on my Metacham, and we're going to be able to take this game here. Really close game. DD leads. Definitely tough because it technically has play against the entire team, so you kind of need to be creative uh, with how you handle that there. Good game. Metacham into Quillfish. Another Hisuian Quillfish here. And I, apology, uh, I apologize if these battles are uh, out of order. I had to record each of these battles one by one. Um, so some of these battles, my ELO are, uh, is in the 3400s, and then some of them it's in the high uh, 3300s. They, they catch on their Lickitung, which is a really nice play. Um, I know that they still have that Quillfish in the back, which Diggersby has a lot of play against. And honestly, Walrein has play against it as well. So I try to catch a body slam on my Diggers Bee and we're able to do that. Uh, this Lickitung is outside of Earthquake range, but I'm really hoping that it's like Earthquake plus a lot of Mudshot farm down range. I'm going to let this Power Whip go through. It does hit for super effective damage, but Diggers Bee is just so bulky. Farming up as much as I can before I'm going to throw this Earthquake here. And then ideally I want to be able to farm them down. But they're able to get to another move, that's fine. I had a feeling that this is just going to be a body slam. And then we have a lot of energy loaded. What do they bring out? They bring out the Quillfish. I immediately click on the Earthquake. I just want to get rid of this thing. And they let it go. What's in the back? It is a Trevenant. So we're going to be able to get to this Fire Punch. If they shield it, I can immediately go into my Wall Rain and land one Icicle Spear. Plus the powder snow damage, this will be able to take this game here, safely shield this up. One seed bomb is not threatening, especially on normal wall rain. But we want to keep our wall rain healthy and keep all three Pokemon alive. And again, we'll survive the seed bomb, be able to powder snow them down. I think we have one more battle left in this video, folks. If you've been sticking around the whole time, let me know down in the comments section. This video is a little bit longer than my previous ones. Pelipper in the lead. This is an absolute core breaker here. Um, I'm going to go for an ice punch bait here. Pelipper hard counters Diggersby. Um, Wall Rain obviously has play against it, but we're double weak to this thing. I stupidly go for Ice Punch immediately here. I should have built up to Psychic again. And then I'm gonna make a catch on my Wall Rain, hoping that I caught a Weather Ball. Please, did I catch a Weather Ball? No, they went straight for the nuke. So respect to the uh, to this trainer here. They bring out a Kanto Ninetales. Holy cow, this team is wild. I go straight for the Earthquake here and they no shield it. But now, here comes the Defense Deoxys, and this is going to be really tough to deal with. They still have that Pelipper, so I have to bring out my Diggersby onto this Deoxys. Um, I'm very fearful that they're going to catch an Earthquake on their Pelipper. They correctly shield up the Earthquake. Nice play. All of my big moves are getting shielded in these battles here. They go for the Psycho Boost. Are they going to swap? No, they're going to throw another Psycho Boost. But I know that the Pelipper, I still have to deal with that thing. I'm going to swap in my Metacham. There is the Pelipper. So I should have banked a move on my um, Diggers Beat if possible. But they, they made this quick response as well. I'm going to double shield. Farm down. This is a very, very healthy Deoxys. I had a feeling I was only going to get to one move, so I went for Psychic, which does more overall damage here. And then they built up 
to the perfect amount of energy and they make an amazing play here they land the thunderbolt to not debuff themselves and then they're able to get to this psycho boost to take me out very well played thank you all so much for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe if you appreciate the content and i will catch you all in the next video